Welcome to Depot by Trial Prep. When you start Depot, the Import Wizard window appears offering you three options. This video will take you through the Select Transcript steps. Click on the Select Transcript File button and you will be taken to the Select Transcript File to Import window. Select your transcript and you will be returned to the Import Wizard. You can select an existing type of case or you can enter a new type of case. Click on Next Step, then enter your case name. Click on Finish. Now you see your new type of case and your new case name. On the right you see the starting page verification window. The next step is very important. To be sure the page numbers in your work match the page numbers in the transcript, the starting page number must be verified. The starting page is where the first question is asked. Here Depot thinks the first question is on page 4. We will click on Show Transcript and scroll down until we find the first question. Now we see that page number 4 is above the deposition reporter's footer. Therefore, we know that the true starting page number is 5. So we'll highlight the number 4, type 5, and click OK. And this verifies the starting page number and your work is correct. A group, or legal issue, is created as they come to mind. You do that by typing them where indicated in the left column. I'll type Novation and then press the Enter key. Segments are a combination of a question and its answer. You have the option of selecting the entire segment or you can select the answer only. You will note that the selected segments or answers become highlighted. As you select a segment, you should assign it to the group that identifies the legal issue the answer relates to. You may assign the segment or just the answer to as many groups as you prefer. Each following segment or answer selected will be assigned to the same group or groups until the group assignment was changed. When you print your work, all segments assigned to the same group will be collated together regardless of where they are actually located in the transcript. Invariably, you will think of questions to ask the witness at trial that were not asked at the deposition. You can add those questions where you want them to appear by highlighting the segment above where you want the question located. Then you click on the queue, type the question, and be sure to assign it to the group you want the question assigned to. You can set up the way your work will look after printing any way you like. Click on File, Page Setup. Here you can select the fonts you like and the font size, the margins you want, and whether or not you want the question in full caps, and the amount of space between the question and its corresponding answer. For the answer, again, you can set up your font, margins, and you can select how much space you want between the answer and the beginning of the next question. On the Groups tab, you set up your group's font, whether or not you want the groups to start on a new page. On the Citations tab, the way you want to see the citations in your final work and whether you want to print black and white or color. In order to have the examination flow the way you want for the witness, you must order how you want the groups to print. In the left column, you first click on the groups you want to print. This is because you may have several groups left over from a previous transcript that were not used in your present case. Then you highlight a group by right-clicking on it and relocate it with the green arrows from top to bottom. 
Finally, you can review your work before printing by selecting Print Preview. You can move through the pages by clicking on the arrows in the upper right hand corner. Well that's it for now. Again, this video just barely scratches the surface of all the, of the features of Depo. Check out the help file or email us for additional instruction. We appreciate you reviewing Depo.